Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe, but most people know me as the Reptiles on here in Instagram and TikTok and Twitter. And today is another day of Herpmas. Okay, so for today's video, we're gonna be doing a review of the Oibo knockdown enclosures, terrariums, whatever you want to call them. So I have been looking for upgrades for my arboreal geckos, Pip, Potato, and Tula. Two crested geckos, one garboil gecko. And I knew I wanted it 30 to 36 inches tall. I definitely wanted it more than 12 inches deep. Right now they're all in 20 gallon long tanks converted. To me, it's not wide enough, it's not deep enough. So I wanted something bigger. Percy's old enclosure, my Cuban night and all, was in a Reptibreeze that I think was 18 by 18 by 36. Um, and I thought that was a pretty good size. So I was looking for something similar to that. But a lot of the 18 by 18s were only 24 inches tall. And I know what a lot of people use for adults are like the 18 by 18 by 24s. To me, it's not tall enough. It's just not. So I didn't want to buy like a box for them. I wanted something really big and tall that they could really explore. And so I looked around, couldn't really find anything. I originally wanted to build with PVC, but our Home Depot just completely stopped carrying it. I obviously didn't want to order it. It was going to cost a lot of money to have someone custom build what I wanted. So I was like, maybe I just spend the money on a Exoterra or a glass tank. Because I do like the looks of the Exoterras. I have several of them. I think they do look nice. If you've been around a while, you know my goal has been white enclosures. When we have a house and I have a reptile room, I want everything to be cohesive. So everyone has been starting to transfer over the last year into their adult enclosures that are all white. So I was going to kind of break that system a little bit for the arboreal geckos so that I could have a tall glass front opening enclosure. One of the other things I really was looking for was something with double doors that opened. I didn't want sliding doors on a tall, I don't want to say skinny, but tall skinny tank because I feel like I'd only be able to access a small portion of that tank. I wanted to be able to open both doors and have full access. So I had a lot of requirements that I was looking for. So I started searching less for crusted gecko tanks and more for the size that I wanted. So 18 by 18 by 36, 16 by 16 by 36, something along those lines. Crested gecko, glass terrariums, seeing what was the biggest I could find. Then I came across, I think I, I came across on Amazon, these white glass enclosures that looked like exoterras. They were like small, like short long ones that you'd use for like a snake. Um, and so I was kind of like, I wonder if they have these for crested geckos. Because these are like white versions of the Exoterras, so they match my aesthetic. How cool is that? Um, sure enough, they had a 24 by 18 by 36. So with the 24, it was a little bit longer than I had originally planned. But I was like, you know what? Bigger is better. I only want what's best for my animals. I want to go above and beyond for them. 24 by 18 by 36, I think that's going pretty pretty above and beyond. I'm, I'm, let's do it. Um, didn't really know how I was going to fit that in here, but I ordered one. Now these are called knockdown enclosures. So they come in multiple pieces. You have to assemble them and they're meant to be easily taken apart again. Now, however, I, as you guys know, I like to build backgrounds, make them look super naturalistic. So I am doing that in this tank. So we're going to see how sturdy this tank actually is because I built it downstairs by our front door, installed the cork background, and now we have to carry it up the stairs to my room. So we'll have to see how it does with all that movement because it's a lot of pieces to put that thing together. So overall, um, it came in, it was all in one piece, excellent condition. None of the glass was broken, and there was a lot of glass. I picked up the whole hunk of glass, and that sucker was heavy. Nothing was broken, nothing was scratched. Everything was in 
perfect condition. I could not have been more pleased with how it was shipped to me. Um, very easy to assemble. However, because I'm me, I obviously did something wrong and had to disassemble to reassemble a couple times. Um, so when you first step, screwing in the four corner posts, make sure you screw them in the right way so they actually go down low enough and they're all even. Problem number one. Uh, problem number two, make sure that you read your glass pieces because some of them are labeled left, right. And I didn't notice because it's like a little label up in the top corner and I don't believe the instructions said doors are labeled, side panels are labeled. So I didn't notice until I had put it all together. And of course, of course, I put all the left stuff on the right side and all the right stuff on the left side. Uh, don't know if it makes much of a difference. However, because I did that, the doors were upside down and not sitting flush at the top. So I was like, well, maybe if I switch them, everything will fit as it should. I don't know why it would make a difference, but let's just do it. So took the top back off, did all of that. So that was on me. However, it all was super easy to put together. It all made sense. I did it by myself. It would have been a lot quicker had I done things the right way the first time. But again, I did it by myself, so you can do it by yourself. Okay, awesome thing about these oil enclosures, they do come with screen. Screen for the back, screen for the sides. The sides, as you saw, are made of two pieces of glass because you have the option of doing a full screen side or a partial screen, partial glass, or all glass. So they are very customizable enclosures, which is super awesome. Now, because I'm doing it for arboreal geckos that need higher humidity, I went for full glass. The other thing I was looking for when I was looking for a new enclosure was I wanted a screen top so I could install lighting. I want to be able to provide very naturalistic overhead heat, UVB, the whole nine yards, plant lights. So I needed some sort of top that would allow me to do that, which this has. I also needed holes to be able to install a misting system because most of my animals that need the higher humidity or need to be misted, my water dragon, my cubanite knoll, they have automatic, automated misting systems. But my crested geckos, I still have to do by hand every single day, a couple of times a day. So I really want them on automated misting system. And unfortunately, I have no way to set that up with the 20 gallons turn on their side. I'd have to drill a hole. I don't know how to do that. I don't, it's too much work. So I decided when I do their upgrades, it's gotta be something I can install a misting system in. And this does, this has several wire holes with lock-in snapping covers to make sure nothing will escape depending on what kind of animal you're using it for. Um, so you just pop them right out. It is kind of difficult to get them out. I struggled a little bit, but I did get one out so I could show you guys. But so, so far all put together and background installed, great enclosure. I will touch base with you guys again once it is up here and set up to see how I'm feeling about it. I also do like that the little keys to open and close it. First of all, I wish it was something that I didn't, well, I could leave the key in, I guess. Um, but I like that the keys have little suction cups so you can literally stick them to the tank. I guess I thought that was a good touch. <laughs> the last thing I want to mention is Oibo is the company that my really big misting system came from that I absolutely love, that I use for Percy. Absolutely love it. So that's why I really wanted to give these a try because so far I love Oibo, so wanted to try these. So far, loving it. I love the looks of it. I posted a sneak peek on Instagram and got so many messages about it because no one has seen these white enclosures that look like exoterras, but they're white and very aesthetically pleasing. So, so far I like it, but I'll touch base again once it is set up, once we have carried it up the stairs, see how sturdy it is. So we will finish that talk when that time comes. All right, we are back to finish the review video. Don't look too much. I don't use the final product because that's the next video. Um, however, I did want to finish the review. So as you can see, we got it up on the shelf. We got it up the stairs. First of all, I had my brother help me with that. Other than just being very heavy because it's a big glass terrarium, it actually is quite sturdy. Considering he's made of all these different pieces, I was a little worried. Not only that though, my brother and I got it upstairs. My little sister and I got it on the shelf. Now that was like a half hour project. I thought we were going to drop it a couple times. It started to tip over. 
Um, but neither of us are like super super strong to the point where getting it up there was super easy. That shelf is about it's over four foot tall. I'm only five five, same as my sister. So to lift that heavy thing up there, we tried to walk it up some step ladders to get up there. It was a whole process, and there's not a lot of room to work because it literally comes up to the ceiling. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's literally like practically touching the ceiling. So as long as I'm living here, I can't install like overhead heat and UVB because there's not room for it. But I did have an extra plant light, so I can at least get that up there. So very sturdy. Two kind of weak young girls were able to get it up there without it falling apart. So that's a win in my books. As far as using it, I've been using it, for, like I said, for a couple weeks now, and I absolutely love it. It looks so good. It's like my favorite part of my room. The other gecko terrariums didn't fit next to it. I could fit one, but not two, so I actually moved them across the room where Penelope was and moved her lower on the shelf. Um, so I put my big plant up there that I usually have outside my room, um, and it's now my favorite part of my room, honestly, besides, like, my stack of shelves or my stack of enclosures that I built I still really like the looks of it but this just looks so nice so works absolutely fantastic I love it I love the ease of just sticking the little keys right onto the tank I really have absolutely no complaints about this enclosure so I'm gonna put the link for it down below the information for it down below so you guys can go check it out. I highly, highly recommend these enclosures for any arboreal animals. They do have lower, longer ones, like I said earlier, for terrestrial animals. I can't give a review on those because I haven't used those. I've only used this one, but I love it. I'm definitely going to buy more for Pippin Potato in the future. So that's my review. The next video will be setting it up and putting Tula in. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you guys for watching another video. We'll see you for the next one. Bye.